Well, welcome back, folks. This is our fifth instalment of Mo Star Mine, which we're running in conjunction with the Montrose Community Trust. And our fifth volunteer is the one, the only, Mr. Matt Allen. That's good, right? How are you doing? I'm good, Chief. I'm good. Um, I think I'm going to start uh, our interview day. I mean, the picture quality is not great, but you seem to have a rash or something appearing just yeah, above yeah. the top yeah. Just testing out a wee bit of facial hair, eh? Well, you see, I suppose this is the time to try these things. Yeah, I tried the, I tried the full beard and to be honest, it was shocking. So I shaved that off and I thought, I'll just see what I can do with the tash. And uh, the, the missus loves it, so it's staying. It's staying, it's staying put. Yeah, I, well, we'll see. We'll see what I can get, uh, what, what growth I can get. And we'll see how long it stays. I was going to say, you, you're going to like get one of those biker sort of moustaches? Are we going to try different versions? Well, see, I might go into the handlebars. I might add the wee twists. Well, <laughs> see what I can do. You can buy wax, I believe, for that sort of job. I don't think it's long enough for the wax yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get there eventually. Yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see. Look, first I'm going to ask, just how are you feeling in general anyway, Matty? How's things? In general, uh, pretty good. Um, we're getting quite deep into this uh, lockdown now so it's getting the, the first week wasn't so bad it was almost like a little holiday away from work uh, but that novelty is certainly worn off now um, definitely missing football definitely missing my work try to keep as busy as possible but yeah there's only so much running you can do to be honest yeah it is um it's it's incredible because a lot of people for a very long time have probably been saying i wish i could just get some time for myself to get these things done or you know a, a week off of work would be great and now that you actually have it it's incredibly yeah. just to stay indoors yeah i think all of the um chores and tasks that were needed done were done within the first five six days or something like that and then after that it's just been literally try to find things to keep yourself busy um keep uh, trying to fend off the boredom to be honest mm. I mean is there apart from football obviously I mean is there anything in particular that you're actually really missing if you could go and do something tomorrow you know what would you go and do um, it's it's mainly friends and family to be honest obviously the boys at the football but mainly um, friends family I've got a young niece as well that I'm missing I can only see on FaceTime really so that's yeah that's the trickiest part I'm sure Everyone else is in a similar situation to me. Family they're missing, maybe not in the same house with. Um, yeah, so that's the main one for me. Yeah. Who are you actually uh, self-isolating with at the moment then? So I stay with uh, my girlfriend and her family. So we've got five in the house. So it's a little bit busy, but uh, we're, we're doing okay at the moment. Okay, there's, there's no major fallings out or anything? Uh, not major, no. I've... Um, <laughs> I've been managing to get out of the house for a few hours, then uh, a few longer runs than maybe I would normally do just to get away a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> up till now it's been all right. Right. Well, I mean, the again, thanks very much for volunteering to do this uh, first and foremost, and um, right. we're we're doing this in conjunction with the community trust and the the stuff we're talking about there. Uh, you know, um, people being put into a situation they're just not comfortable with and, and uh, the community trust are doing some fantastic work um, in, in Montrose for us at the moment and um, one of the ones that I want to, to highlight uh, today is the schools are going to be going back fairly soon and mm -hmm. the club are offering a home schooling support uh, programme so they've uh, made up some football themed uh, activities that um, the, the kids can have a go at. Um, obviously, yeah. you just need to, to contact the club and the club will try to get those um, materials uh, to uh, parents who, who would like them. Um, I think, from my point of view, obviously, teaching um, being my job, I think, in all honesty, though, one of the most important things is the, the, the health, mental well-being of these children. Yeah. And, and I think for a lot of parents, you know, they, they're, they're worried and they feel like they need to be schooling their kids um, during this time. And for me, I think the reality is, don't worry about that. That will fix itself when they get back to school. I think yeah. it's about sure that these guys are happy when they're, when they're actually at home at the moment. 
yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's it's tough enough for um, adults to be in this situation emotionally, and then when you've got um, young kids that are a lot more maybe emotional, they can be a lot more up and down. It, it must be really hard for them not to see friends, not to go to school, do their usual routine. Um, so things like what the community trust are doing are really, really, really brilliant, to be honest. And the the guys at the community trust do a really, really good job and are always coming up with new ideas, what they can do in the community. And I think they've been recognised for the job they do. Yeah. No, I mean, we, we know these guys very, very well. We know yeah. they're, they're tremendous at the best at times. But yeah. the current situation we are in, these guys are doing some tremendous work for Furman Trows. So, um, exactly. you know, a, a big thank you from all of us um, for, for yeah. what they're doing. Definitely. Okay. Right. Well, um, you are number five for yep. All Star. Um, Webby was up uh, last time. And yep. he um, he actually had some very complimentary things to say about you. Oh, he yeah? Reckons, yeah, yeah. He reckons you've got a shout at this. I, he's just putting pressure on me. He, right? He's deflecting. He also said that. He says, make <laughs> sure you tell him and then he'll start to bottle it before the end. Do you know what? I was, I, was, uh, I was feeling all right. And then I think I seen some of the questions. Cammy was getting lobbed and then I got really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, he the was cricket balls was... and that. <laughs> they're all from the same pack so you know it's not like any are more difficult than anybody else's or easier right. they're, uh, they're, it's a pretty level playing field here yeah. um, so you've got uh, five to beat uh, that's Steve Z he was up uh, third he sure. got five busy guy <laughs> I'll give you a quick run through of the rules here Pretty straightforward. You've got 90 seconds to try and answer as many questions, sporting related questions as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you want to pass, that's fine. We'll just come back to them at the, the end. If you do give an answer to the question, I will give you the correct answer if you've got it wrong before I move on to the next one. And when the bell goes, if I've already started the question, then I will finish it and you'll get a chance at having a go at it. Yep. So, how are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Matty Allen, your 90 seconds start. Now, which striker was noted for his robot dance goal celebration? Peter Crouch. Correct. What was the final score when Germany beat Brazil in the World Cup semi final of 2014? 7 1. To whom? Germany. Correct. Golfer Fiji Singh was born in which country? Uh, America. No. It's Fiji. Oh. What's the surname of the brothers Alistair and Jonathan, who both won medals at the 2012 and 2016 Olympics? Uh, Brownlee. That is correct. Uh, which England football manager's face was superimposed on a turnip by the Sun newspaper? Uh, pass. Spencer Gore was the first champion of which major sporting event? Uh, pass. What term is given to a score of three under par on a golf hole? Albatross. That's correct. Which horse is buried beside the winning post at Aintree? Oh, pass. Which team defeated France in the opening match of the 2002 World Cup? Well, absolutely no idea. Um, Do you draw them against? Yeah, I'll take a guess. Greece. Oh, it was Senegal. <laughs> Close <laughs> So, here we go. Peter Crouch, you got? Yeah. 7 1 to uh, Germany against Brazil. You got that. Yeah. Um, you got the Brownlee brothers. Uh, the manager's head on the turnip was Graeme Taylor. Never got that. Nah. Uh, the sporting champion. 
the first one, yeah. uh, Spencer Gore, that was the men's Wimbledon Championship tennis. The first right. winner of that. Uh, you got Albatross, I believe, for the golf. Yeah. So that's you up to four. Um, the horse that's buried at the winning post is Red Rum. Three time winner. That, the and the last one there was Senegal. So, Matty, you have got four. I'll take it. That's all right. It's, it's not it's embarrassing. Their board. I think I got through it well. Um, a bad one, so I'll take that and run. Again, as I seem to be saying at the end of most of these now, at least you're ahead of Paul. Yeah, he's had a shocker there, by the way. <laughs> I, think his, I think his main worry will be if uh, one of the five mob beat him, definitely. Oh, I'll I tell you what. CJ and Liam, they've been taking pelters for this. I mean, have, they, have they done fit. it? No. I haven't seen them yet, but the, these guys, the, everybody seems to think they're going to be bottom of the pile. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're all going to have to eat humble pie if they score, you know, 10 points or something like that. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> right, Luke, again, thank you very much for volunteering to do this. No, awesome. Much appreciated, mate. And uh, look, look after yourself, stay uh, safe, yeah. stay healthy. And we'll you see too, you right. Pleasure, okay. mate. Take care of yourself. Bye.